The most requested game for this series is Ski Free. So many people want to see Ski Free. It's a really bizarre little game. It's got extreme popularity for being like one of the most basic games ever made. This is uh, came in 1991 with the Microsoft Entertainment Pack 3. Microsoft used to release these entertainment packs that were selections of six or seven games. The first one had stuff like Minesweeper in it. Um, actually, I've got the list over there. Oh, that really shit version of Tetris. Um, Golf, which was a card game. Always annoyed me, that one. The second one had Free Cell. It had Pipe Dream. Rodent's Revenge, which was fucking awesome. You had to, like, crush cats and get cheese. Um, the Yeah, the third one was Ski Free Tripix, which was a, a great card game. I fucking love Tripix. And for me, my favorite one was the fourth one, because it came with Chip Challenge and fucking Jazz Ball, which was the shit. But Ski Free is the one that sort of stood out from all of these. I mean, technically, maybe Minesweeper was the one that stood out from all of these, but Ski Free was the one that people remember, because games weren't like this. It was really addictive, because it was just so brilliant. You control a little skiing, man, mostly with the, uh, the, the aid of your um, numerical buttons. Oh, and you can drive him around. Oh, look at the angles he can do. And I went through the middle section, so I'm currently on Freestyle, where the idea is to get tricks done, which means going over little rainbow bridges and doing backflips. Here's a rainbow bridge now. Whoa! Boom! Nailed it. And you got to land on your feet. That was kind of it. Uh, this is <laughs> how games made. This is actually made as a programming exercise by somebody called Chris something, and I can't remember what his surname is. God damn it! Um, but he was making this as a programming exercise. Uh, was working for Microsoft. Did it? It was playing it in work one day, and the guy who put together the Microsoft Entertainment Pack walked past and went, "Yeah, I'm gonna need to have that." Uh, and then it was there. And apparently he was paid in Microsoft shares, which I hope he held on to, because it's actually worth quite a lot nowadays. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, it's this really simple thing, and then we finished it. No, 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 that's you, and there was the previous game when I was making sure this worked. This is actually version 1.4, uh, or 1.04. This is actually the, the, the guy, the guy who made it, actually discovered the source code and actually patched a few things out and gave it 32-bit support. So you can go on the... On his website, which will be linked in the description, and actually just download and play Ski Free for free right now. It's fantastic. But the bit that everyone remembers is coming up. So don't y'all worry. Uh, <laughs> if you know anything about Ski Free, you know what's coming. And maybe, see, for some people, this has got that level of fear that, say, um, Sonic's Drowning Music has. You know, this is that, this is that level of uh, horrible, scary monster time. Because a horrible, scary monster is about to have a great time. Where is it? It's always you. Anything that moves, you like. Is it here? Is it there? Is it there? We hit about 2,000 meters. There he is! It's the Yeti! And the Yeti will chase you and eat you. Um, num, num. See that tree move? Why did the trees move? I never understood that. And then the Yeti is eating you, and the Yeti wins. And the trees gently move left and right. There's people in the trees. Maybe they're sneaking. Maybe they're about to shoot the Yeti. That's canon now. Um, so let's show you some of the stuff that you probably didn't know. I mean, that was, that was there was Freestyle, actually, which is the mode everybody played. Uh, there's also... I completely missed it. There's also... <laughs> gotta go through things. Do, 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 Pow. Playing with a numpad is very strange. Yes, there's also this mode, which is the slalom mode, where... Oh, God, I'm pushing the wrong keys. Oh, pissed, I pissed them all up. You've got a slalom... Okay, stop. I can pretend I did better at that. So you can play with a mouse as well. I don't know. I, I never liked people who played it with the mouse, but maybe it's easier with the mouse. You move the mouse there, and he goes that way, move it there. People who play the mouse is like, so old. <laughs> played it with a rollable. Oh, my God. Um, but the, yeah, you move the mouse on the thing, and then la la la, and then oh, he goes over here. I always found the mouse just to be a much slower way of playing. It's better for this sort of thing. Mind, uh, Simon there. Ooh, round, round, careful round. Did somebody just, oh yeah, somebody just jumped out of that ski lift and started snowboarding. That was a very strange thing to see. I forgot they did that. There's also little dogs, if you smush them enough times, they do a poo. Uh, that's a real thing. There you go, look, this is a slot, this is gameplay in 991, guys. This is what it was like. No sound, no nothing like that. He was actually apparently working on a, a better version with, like, multiplayer and stuff. But alas, the source code was lost until he found it in like 2005 or some shit. Yeah, this came, the, the, the most recent version of this game came out in 2005, which I really like. Even though that was over a decade ago. That's me! Whee! And how fast you did it. Oh yeah, you clicked to do the tricks. I could never quite work it out with a mouse. Oh, you could click to jump, couldn't you? I forget you could do that. Boing. You could do the tricks just anywhere with a mouse. So can you do that when you're doing it with the keys? Is there a specific... I don't work out if there was a specific jump or not. I know that of the secret button, dun 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 da, which I will now demonstrate to you. Uh, maybe I should just use the arrow keys. I always find the arrow keys easier. You know, it recommends the num keys. Donate one. Oh god, nearly collide with someone. That's another finish line. Good. 
Oh yeah, because it's the finish line of the whole thing. When we hit 2,000, you're going to see some serious shit. Because this is a thing that not a lot of people knew, and I don't quite know. It doesn't tell you this control. It was something that was passed around when I was very little when I was playing this for the first time. Is the magic of the F key. Dun dun dun! Because uh, what the F key does is it doubles your speed. See? Press F and you go faster, which means you can actually outrun the Yeti. So... For those of you who fear the Yeti, you can literally just outrun the fucker if you're quick enough. If you get the right sort of diagonal line away from him. There you go. Fuck you, Yeti. Bye. That's it, Yeti. This is the second Yeti. Ooh, let's get the second Yeti. If we can escape the second Yeti, I don't think there's any more Yetis after it. Yep. That's it. You can get past the Yeti. So that's fine. Actually, I think there's another one. Because you'll see that the distance is now going down. The, the, the world seems to like wrap around itself. So we're now a negative. We've sort of hit the top of the map, and then we're going back down, and then we're going to hit the middle again. And I don't actually know if you get to the start at that point. I'd assume you kind of would, if you could have thought. So I, I'm aware, I, I'm not talking very much at the moment um, of any sort of detail or anything, because I know some people go, What the fuck? You can double the speed and dodge the Yeti? What? I know, right? <laughs> So it's like urban legend, though you try it, you're like, what? My 125 should be a Yeti if it is properly wrapped around. Ah, I see, it doesn't properly wrap around. It's just the dist. Ah, because it's generating. No, no, no! I was fucking wrong! <laughs> up, 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 because I just saw. Hey! Back to the start. Yeah, so it's only 2000 and something, and then it wraps around. Although the ski free logo isn't there. Look, the ski free logo's gone. Let me just reset. Ta da! Just crash range. In fact, the reason I was looking for Yeti is if you go up 125, there's a Yeti at 125 meters up. And there's some on the left and right side if you go, I think it's a thousand over as well. I played this game a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> this was so good. I mean, you've got like card game, card game, minesweeper card game. I mean, Jazz Ball was the shit and Chip Challenge was a proper game. But for a while, this was like, this was all the game I had. This was, the Microsoft of Tempest was super popular. I don't think you ever really do it again though. Sort of a, a relic of its era. I've hit 100, so he should have hit. There he is! There's the up Yeti, and he'll eat you if you get close enough. He's a dickhead. Come on, Yeti. You wanna fuck with me? You wanna mess with a warrior? Oh, shit, he's coming for me! I don't know He only tries to get you, stop you going that way. You know, when you hit about 2,000 down, then you, uh, off the thing. Uh, yeah, the, so that was Slalom, Freestyle. Tree Slalom is the other one, which is just Slalom with shit. If you dodge all of the start things, then you're in free mode. And then, I, I don't know if the map randomly generates or if it just flat out loops. I think it does. I don't actually know. But if you go on this side, there's more dogs. So this is why I used to go this side. Hey, dog! Oh, shit. Dog, 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 dog. Get the dog. It says woof. Woof! Sometimes it does a poop. Do a poop. Poop. Woof. Yeah! I did a wee. Let's do a wee. I thought I did poops. Woof. Maybe he's added the wee. This is a slightly, remember, this is the slightly updated version. Maybe Wii's have been added instead of poops. That's why it used to be poops. Maybe it's just Wii. I mean, back in the day, I was playing this on a fucking CRT, and I wouldn't have known a fucking thing. Woof. <laughs> Couldn't have said. Yeah, it, have, playing this in 4K is a fucking exhilarating prospect, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's nice. Woof. Do another Wii. I think it might have just been Wii's, yeah. If you hit a dog, it does a Wii. I love his little tail wagon. That's so sweet. Sorry, mate. Right, uh, yeah, so that's uh, Ski Free. That's pretty much everything Ski Free had to offer. <laughs> Ouch. There's some other skiers you can just fuck up. Oh, they crash as well. I love that. Their face is so weird. Look at that. Oh, God, it's another one. Oh, God, there's an accident black spot happening there. <laughs> That's... <laughs> They're dead. I think they've actually died of frostbite. Cramp him! Cramp him? Cramp his style, quick! I do like the classic skiing colours. Yeah! Fuck them up. Stupid noobs. And then duck, 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 Boom! Boom! Some of the rocks did something as well. I can't remember that, though. Woof. Woof. Just stay there for a random generating time. That's fine. Hey! Oh, my God. I always thought those were poops. Maybe they were always wheeze. I'm learning so much about this game. Uh, but, yeah, that was that was ski-free. It's kind of all there is to it. However! However, 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 I had a big crash. A lot of people don't know that this wasn't the only ski-free. In fact, ski there's a second version of ski-free. There's this version, and then there's this version. Welcome to the best of Microsoft Entertainment Pack for the Game Boy Color. This contained Free Cell, Tut's Tomb, which was shit, Tri-Pigs, which was awesome, Ski Free, Life Genesis, which was fucking boring, 
Minesweeper and Tick Tactics. Ski free. It's a different version. Because of course you can't have the way it's set up on the thing. So if we select ski free, it's a fucking terrible version. When you push left and right, you just ski. It's got a lot more animation to the demon faced baby that you play as. But you just sort of you have to kind of stop him. He doesn't stop by himself. <laughs> Have to kind of just twist him. But yeah, you can go and look. I was, oh, I've had a flip there. Yeah, the problem is you're going really fast. You have literally no time at all to dodge anything. You can jump. How can you jump over trees? Ah, jump over moguls. Ow, I fell down. Yeah, it really is just a little shit version of Ski Free that very few people exist. Dunk, 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 Fuck. Ah, that dog's gone forever. <laughs> dog, dog, dog. Fuck. Rocks, trees. Yeah. It's a much more dangerous one. Yeah, I could leap over. Trees with a single bound. That's got, it's got, I just enjoy the fact all they did to improve this version was they super zoomed it in and then added like 50,000 frames of animation to him falling over. And that's, yeah. Also, I like that his eyes change colour when he's dead. They're red when they're dead and then blue. It looks like he's blue. It looks like he's the crying emoji when he's going down the hill. Look at that! He does! <laughs> dog! Did the dog do a poo? Oh, the dog doesn't exist anymore because of generation. Oh, shit. I want to stop a dog. I've got to be careful. I don't want to stop the dog. I want to meet a dog. Dog! Dog, dog, dog! Shit! And the dog doesn't exist anymore. Wow, that's a that's an actual nightmare there. <laughs> Your dog doesn't exist unless you're staring at it. Kill this guy! Can't kill this guy. Yeah, so the super zoom did then makes this just shit. I mean, yeah, when, you, when you're putting stuff over to the... Uh, oh, there's a slalom. I hit one of the slalom things! Ding! Thud. Ah, oh, sad face. Dog! Fuck. You just can't turn quick enough on a... On a Game Boy. It's like, uh, turn. It's like, turn! There we go. <laughs> and you could drop down nice and quick, though. Maybe that's more appropriate to skiing. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Did I just hit someone and they turned into a dog? There you go, I finished. Now, is the Yeti in this version? Well, of course he is. It's the definitive feature. He's fatter, though. There we go. Don't have to wait as long for the Yeti to turn up, don't you? Yeah. That's the uh, second version of Ski Free. The worst version. That's it, the game is now just locked into that until you probably go to the main menu. So you can change the game style from here and stuff uh, in some fucking way. Freestyle, there we go, new game. I like that the slalom had appeared there, that was delightful. Anyway, yeah, that was Ski Free and Ski Free for the Game Boy Color. Um. Couldn't find any other versions of it. It's a weird little thing. You can get it for free. I wouldn't recommend getting this version because it's a bit poor. I just thought it was a bit interesting. Yes, Ski Free! A game where the Yeti eats you. Unless you know that there's a speed up on, in which case the Yeti doesn't eat you and, and you just loop back around and do it forever. So all the entertainment we had back in the day. Shut the fuck up!